at my own personal level i uh, uh as a tkn volunteer i had requested another tkn volunteer to support one of the tors that had been developed for me and that was to catalog some of my experiences so we went through the process we applied to the council uh, you know to the tkn office and got a short listing of uh, six people and we went through that and i interviewed uh, those people and i ultimately selected one person so this uh, young lady actually has been working with me for the past 2 uh, years and uh, she gives her time we we meet to look at the various things we I, you know i have lots of stories that i uh, talk about and she then transcribes it for me and uh, what has resulted in is possibly going to be three or four uh, uh, small books about about uh, my experiences at ied and maybe even at uh, arkan education service pakistan so it has been it has been very rewarding for her also as a result of her interest she has now been roped into one of the committees that is going to look at the diamond jubilee uh, uh, tkn program so i think as a result of her capacity development her excitement she is now moving one step forward i just want to add to what he said in terms of the the capacity development um of tkn volunteers and where that reaches out um the from the person who is currently serving on the al khan education board uh providing support for the the whole area of ecd particularly parvaz she initially started as a tkn facilitator and today she's the one who has been serving with me when we have been you know going to afghanistan and when the team came from tajikistan to actually support the capacity development now of master trainers in other countries so that's also been really exciting to see that you know from a facilitator uh the knowledge and skills which have been developed uh to now being able to to reach out you know beyond pakistan and 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 support with the development of a program in another country